I guess uh, it's friction here. Um, before we start off this video right here, I just wanted to make an announcement. I have been receiving scam messages the last few days, ever since 1.0 has been announced and released. Um, people have been trying to get me on uh, certain websites. Whatever you do, do not go on these websites because they usually contain malware and um, they will hurt your account and your PC. So it doesn't matter how much they promise you experience, credits, cheats, whatever. Do not click on these websites. Do not go there because they will scam you. And most definitely, this is something that you want to, you know, go around to. And I, I'm trying to, um, to look into this and I'm trying to get Wargaming to respond because this has been a freaking annoying shit show. Uh, it's like every day, every time I log in, somebody writes me and all of these accounts are fake accounts, bot accounts. They don't have any battle. They just have been created. They don't have anything. All they do is they try to rip off your account. So whenever you see them, report them. I don't want to add him to my friends list. How can I report this guy? Yeah, report this guy or add them to your blacklist and then... Um, Look that you uh, tell it to your paws out there because you don't want them to lose their account. So, yeah, let's get on with the video. Guys, it's Friction here with Tiger Tank 1 2. However, you want to call me, I don't really care. And today I've just got a little update video, um, nothing too big. It's just about the update 1.0 Grand Extravaganza. And um, this update, you guys probably have noticed, there is an event going on where they are giving out a free tier 3 light tank that used to be, probably is not going to be after this, the most um, rare premium tank in World of Tanks. And it's the MTLS 1G14. And how do you get this tank? Well, you'll have to do some things. And by some things, I mean you'll have to play the game. It's pretty easy, actually. You have to earn 100 stamps. These stamps, you get one, uh, two stamps for completing one mission. They are like tons of missions that you can complete. And they are just very simple. They're like play the map, be in the top 10 um, by experience earned, and all that kind of stuff. So these stamps will give you the MTLS 1G14. 100 stamps and you get this vehicle. Just to put it into perspective, I played a few hours yesterday, I have about 65 stamps, so you can pretty much do it in two days. This event, but, is going on from the uh, from March 23rd all the way to April 6th. And there is more to that than just the MTLS 1G14. This vehicle actually is very, very interesting because it's the only tank in the game that has two guns in one turret. So, basically... It's a tank that can fire twice with one shot, actually one shot from each barrel. So very interesting. Uh, I, I'm definitely excited to make a video about it, to play it, and then I'm going to give you guys some kind of a, <laughs> a review about it. I don't usually do reviews on tier 3 tanks, but yeah, why not? I mean, you can go out of the way and just do it. Then there are super regionals, and these regionals, I think this is very interesting for all of us because this is something that goes on... Um, you know, during, like, uh, on the side. And what you can do is earn as many stamps to con contribute to your cluster progress. And this cluster, regionals, means that it's the different server sides. You have NA, you have Europe, you know, all that good stuff. So the grand prize is double XP for all wins during the weekend after the event ends. So that's going to be on the 7th and 8th of April. And there are some intermittent prizes, like a unique medal that you can uh, display. That's not too crazy. Um, In-game goodies, that's always great. Personal reserves and camouflage. Camouflage has been something that people have been screaming about because they want to paint their tanks in different styles. They want to get more camouflage um, because there are only a few options. And I think we have seen them all over and over again. So there is, as always, I'm going to add all the links, um, all the websites that I have. Um, taking the information from in the link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself Just keep in mind. It's for every server. It's different So if you're playing on the EU server 
uh, well, you have to log into your the European server side, um, uh, into the European website of World Tanks, just to keep that uh, in your mind. Well, this is the current standing right now. It's the Super Regionals. Our goal is to get the two times XP. Uh, and you can see the different um, kind of milestones that you can achieve. So milestone right now that we have achieved is actually the first milestone just playing the game. <laughs> um, but the first milestone that you will be achieved is uh, 2 million stamps. Once you reach 2 million stamps, you'll get um, a medal that um, that you participated in 1.0. Well, that's always nice. Medals are cool. Uh, you can display them. Shows you that you are a veteran of this game. Moving on. 4 million um, stamps and you get personal reserves. Play one battle and receive four valuable personal reserves. That's cool. Then 7 million battles or stamps, excuse me. Uh, not 7 million battles. That would be too crazy. Three pieces of camouflage. Earn three pieces of unique all season camo by entering a battle. And this is really cool because people are excited about the camouflage. And then you have two times XP for each victory. Every time you're, you're victor victorious on a tier four tank or higher, starting from your second win, will grant you double experience. And that's pretty damn cool, right? So 10 billion stamps and you'll be able to get two times XP for every win. And current, current, current standing on the North American server, 1.4 million um, stamps. And that's just the second day of the event. Um, and you can see the updates are coming in every 35 minutes or every hour, I think. So yeah, play the game, be in that, uh, you know, be there, just play it and... Um, you'll get some goodies out of it, and that's really cool. Moving on, Intel Trophy Leaderboard. This is something that is very new to Wargaming. Uh, this is something that is very new to the game as well, and they have teamed up with Intel. You guys probably know Intel. They are, um, they are one of the biggest computer hardware um, or processor firms out there, and they produce the Intel Core, which you have most definitely, mo most of the people have Intel cores in their computers, some of them have AMD, but yeah, Intel. So what can you get here? Well, this is only for the very, very, very dedicated. You can get the first place, if the first place reaches all the stamps possible, you'll receive the Alienware 17 with an Intel Core i7 processor. That is a gaming laptop worth 3000 US dollars. By just playing the game, you'll be able to do that. There is a leaderboard, but we'll get to that eventually. Then second to 251st place, you'll be able to receive an Intel Core i7 processor. And this processor is really cool. You can build it into your computer and it's definitely probably rather expensive. You can sell it as well if you don't find any use for it. Or you can just give it to me if you don't need it. <laughs> no, don't worry. So there is a current leaderboard system and you can see it shows you all the 251 ranks that currently get a reward on the very top in North America is loser 007 520 stamps and just imagine this is just the second day I have 55 stamps and I played a few matches but I'm nowhere near as this guy is with its 520 stamps but you know I, I'm not aiming for um, any spot in the uh, in the top 251 uh, if I manage to do it well that would be awesome I mean uh, I do have a great i7 core in my computer maybe I'll, i do a giveaway i don't even know um but yeah i think this is a very nice way um to to you know support 1.0's release because people love free stuff people love uh new tanks free vehicles that they can lock and uh yeah i'm excited for it i hope you guys uh, are excited for it too I, I would love to hear your guys opinion about all this 1.0 shenanigans and as always, keep on tanking. I'll see you guys on the next one.